In their lifetimes, Carmen de Lavalade and Jeffrey Holder raised the bar for evaluating the scope of individual creativity while becoming the exemplar of the epic love story. Their extraordinary beauty and elegant physical presence made it impossible to look away from them on stage, film, TV, or in person. It took a frame as large as his imposing six feet six inches to encompass Jeffrey's talent. Dancer, choreographer, set and costume designer, actor, director, author, painter, photographer, and musician. Born in Port of Spain, Trinidad in 1930, Jeffrey Holder started on his road to success at seven when he sold his first paintings. By adulthood, he was recognized as a prolific painter. His works hang in prestigious collections the world over and have been the subject of several books. He studied both painting and dance with his brother Bosco, who had his own dance company. Bosco moved to Europe. Jeffrey took the company to New York, where he created quite a sensation in the city when he stayed, taught classes at the Catherine Dunham School, and then serendipity stepped into the picture, and he was cast in Truman Capote's Broadway musical, House of Flowers. Also in the cast was the irresistible Carmen de Lavalade, already a blossoming star, having captured the spotlight in theater, TV productions, films, and international performances since 1949. Audiences and critics alike spoke of her sensuous dancer's body, striking beauty, and monumental talent. Almost instantly, they fell in love and married in 1955. They have one son, Leo Anthony Lamont. From the beginning, Jeffrey has called Carmen his muse. Born in distant corners of the world, this amazingly gifted pair faced many racial barriers as they sought excellence in their crafts. Very different in personality, the larger-than-life Jeffrey and the serene Carmen, each in their own way, persevered through every door slammed shut, raising the bar again and again. Carmen's California roots are deep. She came to Los Angeles when she was tiny, and here she received her dance training in classes all across town, in the halls of Carver Junior High, and the legendary Thomas Jefferson High School, where she and her classmate Alvin Ailey began their long dance journey together. She earned a scholarship to the Horton Dance Company, and Carmen and Lester Horton became friends and dance collaborators. Carmen's cousin and inspiration, Janet Collins, was the first prima ballerina of color to perform in the Metropolitan Opera Ballet. Later, Carmen would follow her cousin as the company's prima ballerina, and Jeffrey also danced with the company for two years. The Lavalade made four movies, including her breakthrough performance in Carmen Jones with Dorothy Dandridge. Her passion to perform kept Carmen on stage. She danced around the globe for Horton and with partner Alvin Ailey before dancing with the American Ballet Theater. She has staged musicals, plays, and operas. She joined the Yale School of Drama in 1970 as a choreographer and performer in residence, later becoming a full professor. She continues to teach, travel, and perform. At age 80, she was on Broadway in Streetcar Named Desire and is currently working on a new show called As I Remember. Holder has appeared in at least 30 movies for the big and small screen, beginning in 1967 with Dr. Doolittle, Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Sex, the James Bond thriller Live and Let Die, Swashbuckler, and Annie. In 1992, he was Nelson in Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. In 1964, both he and Carmen performed in Josephine Baker's Brief Review on Broadway, and in 1975, Holder won lasting fame as the director and costume designer of The Wiz, the all-black musical version of The Wizard of Oz. It won Holder two Tony Awards for direction and costume design. He was the first black man ever to be nominated in either category. In 1978, Holder directed another original musical, Timbuktu, earning a Tony nomination for costumes and two Drama Desk nominations for costumes and choreography. He has worked with major dance companies all across the world, designing costumes, creating sets, and choreography and writing music, including Alvin Ailey and the Dance Theater of Harlem. For the last 50 years, they have lived life uncompromisingly, bent time and circumstances into a testimony of great talent and an epic love story, 
inspiring each other, working separately and in tandem, creating a body of work that has elevated them to national treasures and icon. And they have done it all with elegance, grace, and the sheer power of their will and talent. The California African American Museum takes extraordinary pleasure in presenting Carmen de Lavalade and Jeffrey Holder with CAM's 2013 Lifetime Achievement Honors. <laughs>